California Senator Dianne Feinstein. The New York Times reports Feinstein, the top Democrat on Senate Judiciary, and her husband sold between $1.5 and $6 million in stock in a California biotech company between January 31st and February 18th. California Senator Dianne Feinstein. The New York Times reports Feinstein, the top Democrat on Senate Judiciary, and her husband sold between $1.5 and $6 million in stock in a California biotech company between January 31st and February 18th. Her spokesman saying, quote, all of Senator Feinstein's assets are in a blind trust. She has no involvement in her husband's financial decisions. terms of putting that travel ban on, putting travel limitations, mm -hmm. have been the right thing to slow this down, to develop diagnostics. So, Senator, pardon me, you thought the government was prepared, yet shortly after that tweet that I just noted, you sold over a million dollars in stocks in your own personal portfolio before the market went down. Were you trading on inside information about what was coming? Well, I'm, I'm really glad you asked, Ed, because I do want to set the record straight. I've seen some of those stories, and it's absolutely false, and it could not be true. So if you actually look at the personal transaction reports that were filed, it notices at the bottom that I'm only informed of my transactions after they occur, several weeks. So certainly those transactions, okay. at least on my behalf, were a mix of buys and sells, very routine for my portfolio. Okay. And, um, you, know, you, you say they were routine, Senator pardon me, but uh, in, I, I mentioned the sales before stocks went down. They also purchased your third party advisors, Sitnix, as I understand, which is a teleconferencing company uh, with workers displaced now, given the crisis, teleconferencing companies are doing quite well. Who are these third party advisors? They seem to have a pretty good idea about where the market was headed. Well, certainly, I'm not involved in the decisions around buying and selling. There's a range of uh, different decisions made every day with regard to my savings and 401k portfolios that I'm not involved in. And certainly, uh, like any other trade, you, you can't see into the future. I come out of the financial services industry yeah. where I have over 20 years of experience of dealing and complying with very strict standards right. around material non-public information. I'm the only chartered financial analyst well. in the Senate, and I completely understand these rules. Politico revealed that a Feinstein staffer was a Chinese spy. Then in Matir and Ross, more. Citing an unnamed source, the column revealed the Chinese spy was Feinstein's driver for 20 years, who also served as a gopher in her Bay Area office and was a liaison to the Asian American community. He even attended Chinese consulate functions for the senator. Senator Feinstein was the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee at the time.